Welcome back to News 2 F4. A Tennessee law that goes into effect next month will criminalize an animal tranquilizer humans are using to get high. The drug is called xylazine. Now it's meant for horses and meant for cattle. News 2's Tori Gessner talked to one woman in recovery who says this drug is highly addictive, very dangerous, and this new law only tackles half the problem. A warning, some of the images in this story may be disturbing. The side effects are brutal, all from the drug that caused Tracy McCann's addiction to spiral. Not that it wasn't bad before then, but for me, it was when um, the trank, the xylazine came in that it started, it got tremendously worse for me. Xylazine is an animal tranquilizer, not approved for humans. McCann became addicted without even realizing, thinking she was using carfentanil until she noticed the dying flesh on her arms. One day, like one of the, the um, black necrotic skin started coming off and um, I kind of like cut it off. And so from then on, I started just cutting off the black necrotic skin myself. I didn't know that amputation could be a possibility. I just knew that I had to take care of my arms. After two and a half years on Trank, McCann's arms are healing. She's been sober for nine months now, spreading awareness about how deadly xylazine can be, especially since it doesn't respond to the overdose reversing drug Narcan. Nashville has seen 12 suspected fatal overdoses where xylazine was detected so far this year, according to the Metro Public Health Department. That compared to 40 last year. The Tennessee legislature joined in the fight against xylazine last session, passed the Drug of the Living Dead Act, which will make having Trank a Class A misdemeanor and having it to sell a felony starting July 1st. I wish I could say that that'll fix it. Um, I, I, I think that helps, but at the same time, it's still going to happen, just like we see with all the drugs over the years. You know, like just because we criminalize it doesn't mean it's going to stop. McCann says medical professionals also need to come up with safe ways to help people get off Trank. Until then, she'll continue to share her story, living proof it is possible to come back from the drug of the living dead. Don't let the judgment of others, you know, scare you away from getting the help that you deserve. The xylazine law goes into effect July 1st. There are exceptions for vets who use the drug to treat their animal patients. McCann shares her journey in recovery on social media and resources to get help. We will post those links on WKRN.com. Mark.